good morning class 3 today in social studies i'm going to explain you chapter 8 the sun the moon and the stars children what do we see in the sky we see the sun the moon and lots of stars the earth and all natural bodies beyond it like the sun the moon and the stars are called heavenly bodies these are scattered over a huge area that is called space space and everything in it is called the universe the sun the moon the stars the earth and all of us are part of the universe first of all we'll talk about stars and galaxies a star is a huge ball of hot glowing gases it gives out heat and light a very large number of stars together form a heavenly body that is called a galaxy there are many galaxies in the universe our earth is a part of the milky way galaxy we can see a part of this galaxy in the sky on clear nights it appears as a band of light stretching across the sky this band of stars is called the milky way it is also called akash ganga in hindi constellations a small group of stars that seems to form a shape in the sky is called a constellation now children these constellations are not real ancient people they imagined the shapes and they named them after animals and heroes some well-known constellations are the great bear orion the hunter and leo the lion the sun and its family the sun is also a star it is much closer to us than the other stars in the sky so it looks bigger and brighter than them like other stars the sun gives out huge amounts of heat and light a number of heavenly bodies they move around the sun they are the sun's family The sun and its family of heavenly bodies form the solar system. The solar system includes the sun, eight planets and their moons. Now what are planets? The large round heavenly bodies that move around the sun are called planets. Each planet moves around the sun in a fixed path that is called its orbit orbit children in this picture you can see lines drawn here these are the orbits there are eight planets in the solar system from the sun they are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune the first four planets that is mercury venus earth and mars are small and rocky and the last four jupiter saturn uranus and neptune are very large but not rocky like the earth they are huge balls of gas they are called gas giants the planets do not look the same all the planets okay they do not look the same the earth looks blue from the space Mars looks red and Saturn has large rings around it. Jupiter is the largest planet and Mercury is the smallest. Our Earth is a very special planet. Why? Because it is the only planet we know that has life, that is living beings. 
and the last topic of our this chapter is satellites children in this chapter we are going to talk about the natural satellites not the man made satellites now satellites are heavenly bodies that move around a planet okay they are called the planet satellite or moon <coughs> mercury and venus are two planets that do not have moons all the other planets of the solar system have moons our earth has only one moon while jupiter and saturn each of them have more than 60 moons do not have their own light they shine in the light of the sun our moon is much smaller than the earth but it looks large because it is much nearer to us than the other heavenly bodies there is no life on the moon and it is bare and rocky with no air or water now children go through this lesson read it carefully thank you